Hello and welcome to Expeditions Rome. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to review five important tips to help you become the best legate the Roman Empire has ever seen. Tip number one, use left alt. When you click left alt, it will highlight different objects to make it easier to see. This is also very helpful when you're trying to loot after combat. It also highlights different boxes that you can loot, which is very important because you will find items, uh, rations, and denarii, and more from doing so. Left alt is your friend. Tip number two, grab unique weapons early in the game. There are several unique weapons, and you're going to want to obtain all of them. I'm going to review just a few of them here. The first one is the Rod of Asclepius. Um, then we have the Spear of Achilles, Occam's Razor, and Eurytus' Bow. Unique weapons offer unique bonus abilities. So for Eurytus' bow, upon dealing a killing blow with an interrupt attack, the stance does not end, allowing you to make another interrupt attack. This is extremely important. These bonus abilities linked to, in most cases, improved stats are going to pay dividends in your campaign. So pick them up early and as quickly as possible. I've posted videos on how to obtain all these weapons, so feel free to check out those videos to figure out which weapons you specifically want depending on your play style, although I recommend obtaining all of them. Tip number three, pair weapons and armor or abilities with your skills. Take time to review your skills. So for example here, we just reviewed this unique bow with interrupt. We are basically increasing or buffing that by doubling up on interrupt to increase our cone to shoot enemies as well as picking up vigilant. These basically synergize with those unique bonuses and this goes for really any weapon because each weapon has unique attack abilities so you want to read through them and make sure that they are lining up and appropriate for how you are spending your skill points. Tip number four, assignments. You might not click on outpost management often, but you should be. As you unlock upgrades such as the tent and armory and others, you will unlock assignments. These assignments are very critical to helping both your immediate group of Praetorians as well as your legion. So be sure to keep these assignments on cooldown, especially because they can have very long times to do so always be looking at assignments and quite frankly in my opinion you should always ensure that you are assigning people to it it's going to pay dividends so you're going to want to swap out in new praetorians as you um, further progress in the campaign so barracks is actually really helpful because you're going to be able to bring in higher better uh, praetorians that are also more loyal which you're going to want to focus on. So tip number four, check on assignments and make sure you keep them on cooldown. The final tip is look at stats and personality traits of your different Praetorians. Everyone has their own personality traits and these traits are going to determine if they like you or hate you long term. You can see that by making decisions. So for example, warmongering, decisions that will lead to war will increase Cornelius's opinion of you. Um, so that is really important to think about because that will determine their loyalty um, and how much they like you over time, which is really important. By the way, when you recruit in Praetorians, you can rename them if you really want to. That's just something I would call out. I don't really do that, but it's actually a really good um, thing to do if you really like that and you really like that. So make sure you look at personality traits because that will influence if they like you or not, if they become le more loyal or less loyal. Now, if you make decisions and you really like, say, a key companion or a Praetorian that you brought in, 
you do have some options to keep them a certain level of happy. So when you look at upgrades and outpost management, um, certain things are going to allow you to boost Praetorian's approval rating to a certain level as you uh, progress, uh, which is really, really helpful. You basically can ensure that they stay at a certain level um, to help. So keep that in mind. You're going to want to prioritize these different things. And then when you have assignments, this is able to approve their approval rating to a base minimum level so they don't abandon you or um, are insubordinate, especially during Legion combat. So hopefully you find these found these five tips helpful. A quick review, use left dot, find unique weapons early and use them. Synergize your weapons and abilities with your skills. Always keep assignments on cooldown and make sure you check personality traits of the Praetorians that you want to keep long term to ensure the decisions and your play style will keep them happy. Thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, drop a thumbs up for this video and if you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Shadow Coast out.